Welcome back to the Fan Showdown, Season 3, Episode 7. And today, I think we got a nice mix of, you know, some outlandish type designs and more, some more standard fan type stuff. Also, we got another one of those fans that I tried to print before, but because support material, I wasn't able to. But now that we're using PVA, it's finally, it finally gets its time to shine. Also, all the fans are printed with Duramic PLA Plus. Uh, this is the first time I've used this specific brand of filament. But it turned out pretty good. I like the finish, I like the look, and I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to pick some up. Now let's talk about some of these, some of these fans. Thank you to Lester for sponsoring this video. If you're like me, most of your shopping happens online. However, sometimes it's hard to figure out if you're really getting the best product for your money, and this is where Lester can help. Lester is a free product research assistant that helps you make informed purchasing decisions. Say you're shopping for something like a new monitor, but you don't really know which one to buy. Lester will immediately tell you which ones are the best for your budget so you can be sure you're getting the best bang for your buck. You can actually see why people chose the products they did by checking reviews and ratings from sources that you trust, like Wirecutter, Reddit discussions, and other YouTubers. Lester can even tell you if a product's on sale or compare prices across many retailers like Walmart, Target, or Best Buy. Online shopping is meant to be quick, so save time and money and always get the best products by installing Luster using the link in the description below. It's completely free. The first one we're gonna look at today is the most standard out of all, all four of these fans today. This is the Random Swiggles, and it was created by Eli. Now the first thing I thought when I saw this fan is, is this an evolution of the Acceleron? It looks like the Acceleron's final form. Now, if you're new here, the Acceleron was a fan from season one, episode five, that ended up being really, really good uh, performance-wise. And it actually looked pretty cool. A lot of you guys liked it. And supposedly, it is currently working its way through the commercial fan process, whatever that entails. And maybe it, it might actually become a product that we can all buy one day. So keep an eye out for that one. Also, if you remember, Thomas, the guy who created the Acceleron, said it took like only a few minutes to make the fan. And Eli said it took about 10 minutes to create this one. And if we know anything about the fan showdown, it's like the time spent designing a fan is directly proportionate to how well it does. So less time spent equals better time performing. So this thing should do really well. Math, 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 math. Stepping a little farther outside the box, we have the Yasur, and this was designed by Yuris. Yaris? Yearn? Yearn. I think we I think Yearn. Now, Yuren said, again, not much time spent on designing this. This was more, it took about two hours. It was more of like a seat of the pants type design, but I just liked how it looked. It's kind of got this UFO type profile and all the fan blades merge into the center and kind of create the, the cone or the center hub. And then there, you know, it's just like one big blade. I don't know how well it's going to do. They look a little cramped, but it looks cool. And that's half the battle. Now, like I said, there's a fan in this lineup, this next one that I tried to print before, but I couldn't get the support material. <laughs> Couldn't get the support material out, so I, I just gave up. But here it is now. This is the Daisy, and it was created by Austin. Now, Austin said he named this fan the Daisy because it looks very similar to a Daisy. And it's comprised of four 16 blade fans stacked on top of each other to give us 64 total blades. Now, again, I don't know how well this fan's gonna do. It, it, the blades are pretty small, uh, but I do believe this is like the first time we've seen some type of design like this. So very interested to see how it sounds for one and will it perform at all? Now this next one might be my favorite of all four because it's an absolute unit. And it took 36 hours, actually it took over 36 hours to print all of it with these two pieces. And this is it. This is called The Loser. And it was created by Nicola, AKA I drink tea at the bar on Reddit. And yes, this is another fan that made its rounds on Reddit. And everybody seems to, you know, it seems like it's got a pretty good response. So if you have a fan design you want to show to the community, post it to the Reddit, you know, the, the fan show down Reddit and let everybody take a look at it. And if it gets a, gets a lot of upvotes, sometimes it shows up. Sometimes you even get a special. Now, Nicholas said he created this fan because he wanted to see a centrifugal fan do good uh, in the fan showdown. And he just likes centrifugal fans. And Nicola went all in on this design. He even ran flow simulations in SolidWorks on this design to try to optimize the design of it and try to make it as, as efficient as possible. And I'm really curious to see what the, the loser sounds like because when it's all put together, it looks very similar to an air raid siren. And I'd imagine it has a little bit of an undertone like that. So before we get into the sound testing, let's talk about some changes I made based on your recommendations. Now, I won't be using my normal yellow SPL meter. Instead, I'll be using REM software with my new UMIK-2 
measurement microphone. And this was a recommendation you guys all made. I asked everybody in the last video what, what recommendations they would have for a new sound meter. And everybody's like, what are you talking about? You got a sound meter right there. It's right there. Just use it. And I was like, oh, well, yeah. Uh, okay. So I picked up a microphone and I used my old SPL meter to calibrate the microphone in, attempt, like in an attempt to make all the old measurements still valid to these new ones. So I'm still a noob with this whole calibrated microphone, REM software. So if you see me looking like a clown, make sure to let me know what I'm doing wrong in the description below. And let me know what you think about using this microphone versus just a regular dB meter. But I think you'll, I think you'll like this way better. When it comes to the loser, the SPL was around 61.5, but what I found most interesting was that there are two peaks that appear, one around 280 hertz and one at just over 1000 hertz. And if you listen to the sound of the fan, you can easily hear those two frequencies and it, it makes this thing sound like an air raid siren, like we kind of expected. The Daisy is a much softer sound with no real standouts and it had an SPL of around 50.6. The Yes Sir was much the same, but even quieter with an SPL of 46.5. And Random Swiggles was pretty quiet as well with an SPL of around 44.9. And there's just a little tiny spike right around 200 hertz. And if you listen, you can also hear this one. So what do you think? You think the microphone's better or should we go back to the regular dB meter? Now, if we go back to the screenshots Nicola provided in his flow simulation, we can see if what he has shown in his sim is what things look like in real life. For the most part, things look pretty close. We can confirm without a doubt that the air is being pulled up through the cooling tower. However, something that is not evident in the simulation photo are the little eddy currents that are being created as the air exits the fan. Now, the flow simulation is a pretty close up, zoomed in shot, so I'd be interested to know if we zoomed out in the flow simulation, would you be able to see these same eddy currents? Random Swiggle seems to be performing quite, quite well with the air being drawn in pretty uniformly. From the side, Random Swiggles appears to be a fan that's going to perform quite well in the cooling test. Yes sir, on the other hand, it looks pretty standard uh, at first glance, although if you look a little closer, the airflow looks to be, looks to be being thrown out towards the side. The side view confirms this, the air is flowing into the fan but it's, a, it's pretty turbulent. I'm not sure how well this is gonna perform in the, in the cooling test. The Daisy seems to be acting pretty much the same way. The front, it looks like everything's moving pretty smoothly, but then when we look at the profile again, the, the flow is pretty turbulent. When it comes to cooling, the Daisy came in with an average temperature of 85.3 at a room temperature of 20.2, giving us a delta of 65.1. The Yasser came in with an average temperature of 84.2 at a room temperature of 19.7, giving us a delta of 64.5. The random swiggles came in with an average temperature of 81 at a room temperature of 20.5, giving us a delta of 60.5. And the loser came in with an average temperature of 76.4 at a room temperature of 19.7, giving us a delta of 56.7. Placing the loser in first, the random swiggles in second, the Yasser in third, and the Daisy in fourth. Also, the loser was able to place second overall, just behind the Cheater and the A12X25. So thank you guys all for watching the video for one if you're subscribed to the channel thank you very much i do appreciate it if you're not i hope you do and i hope to see you back again if you want to get involved in the fan showdown check the link in the description below i have everything you need to know where to go to check out fan dims where to send it which is the fan showdown at gmail.com until next time